today on Divorce Court. I'm here because um, I'm having issues with my partner. He has cheated several times. He lies and then I find out otherwise. Basically those girls have more understanding of my feelings than just having being more self-centered. He's very controlling and he doesn't help financially. I think she cares more about herself and less about my feelings. He's not too much involved in our daughter's life. I want the judge so Beatrice, but you can't always have what you want. It's hard for me to see a future with Corbett. Like, I love him, but I feel like if he doesn't get himself together, I do not see a future with him. Divorce court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Beatrice Albino and Corbett Ortiz. The two of you have been together for uh, eight years. You have one child together. You, you're not married, uh, and things aren't going well. Ms. Albino, you want to end it, and Mr. Ortiz, I do believe you want to save it. Is that accurate? Yeah, I do. Okay. I'm going to start with you, Ms. Albino. Why don't you tell me what's going on and how we got here today? Well, I'm here because um, we've been having, me and my partner have been having um, issues in our relationship. Um, he, the lie, he's constantly lying. Um, he has cheated. He doesn't help financially. And when it comes to our daughter, he refers to her as your daughter rather than our daughter. He doesn't believe it's his? He had a doubt, but then, you know, when it comes up to the paternity test, he doesn't want me to he take it. He doesn't want to take it. Do you yes. believe the baby's yours? I mean, I do. It looks like me. Um, everybody tells me that um has my features. Mm -hmm. She just, like, when she's mad, she tells me that it's not mine, so... Oh. Do you do that? Yes, I do. Yes, I do, because I'm petty. I can be petty at times. Yeah, that's not helpful. I know. <laughs> that's not I know. I just get so angry because of everything he has put me through that... Sometimes I don't know what other ways to hurt him, so sometimes I try to find like ways to. Well, get tell me hurt. what happened in the beginning, because you were awfully young when you started going out. Yes. 18 years old. What went on in the beginning that made you fall so hard for him? Well, he was actually a friend of my sister's boyfriend, mm -hmm. so we met through that. And he was a very funny guy. He was very sweet. He accepted me as I was. You know, I had braces at the time, my teeth were mm -hmm. and he didn't care about that. He so he made me feel special. You know, he would make me laugh, we would go on dates, and I felt like this was the guy for me, like, because I was very insecure, but when I met him, I felt like I could be myself around him. How long did the good times last? Not that long. It, I would say <laughs> a good four months. Four months? Around, yeah, a good four months. And after four months, what changed? When we started out, we were seeing each other every day, and we wouldn't miss a day. And then I go to his house, and we're laying down, and I see, uh, like, a little paper with a an email on, on it, like a female's email. And prior to that, like a couple of days prior to that, when I grabbed his iPod, there was a picture of back, he had the, the screen background mm -hmm, as mm -hmm. him hugging some girl. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, okay. So then the email was a female's email because it, it stated a female's name. So then I go back home and I email that email and I, you know, I, I state my concern. I'm like, do you know, I've been dealing with Corbett. Um, do you happen to know him? Like, are you guys together? And to my surprise, she emails me back and she confirmed that they had been together for two years. And they're still together. And she was like, wait a minute, but he just picked me up at my job. And I'm like, wait a minute, I was with him in the morning. So when I left his house in the morning, I guess he went over to pick her up. So, you know, it's a back So you just found out you yeah, were the side, I was a side chick. chick. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Ortiz, and why don't you tell me your prove. version of, of, of that event? I did, mean... did, did all of those things happen <laughs> as she said they did? No, it didn't happen like that. Wow. So tell me, tell me what happened. How, how can you be the side chick if you're always with me all the time? Mm -hmm. That was just like a, that wasn't a, a, somebody I worked with. Uh -huh. So. So you hadn't been having a relationship for two years with this other woman before you got involved with Ms. Albino? No, I was working with that person. How can you be a side chick if you're always with That's me? That's a lie. I gotta say, I like Nick. Yeah. That's a lie. But he ain't on my wallpaper on my iPad. <laughs> wow. Um. How did a co-worker make it onto your wallpaper on your iPad? <laughs> I mean, she, she wanted to Thank see my... She wanted to see it, so she... No, <laughs> I, you're not answering my question. You know what I'm asking you. She wanted to see how... She wanted to... <laughs> I make up, I make up there Leave it right there. Why don't you show me what okay. you have to show me? What, have whatever evidence. proof you have. <laughs> Here you go. You, got You get them young girls, you can tell them anything. You get a grown woman in here, you're going to start stuttering. Because I know what's up. Yep, there he is. Yeah. 
You have a way with women, don't you? I do. Yes, he does. He knows do you come. work? Yeah, I do work. You have a job that makes you money? Yeah. It requires me to leave a lot. Like, I do little door, door sales. Mm -hmm. Leave and talk okay. to other girls, right? I understand you have a video you want me to see. Oh, yeah, I do. Let, let's, let's look at that now. That's a truck driving job right there, right? She's your partner at your truck driving job? <laughs> so when did you get that video? <laughs> I got that because he decided to... I'm not gonna lie, I cursed him out because he started ignoring my text messages, and I'm like, you, I, I, I gave you the opportunity to go out for two months, and it was hard for me. <laughs> it was hard for me to allow him to do that, but he's like, I'm gonna come back with bread, I'm gonna come back with money, and I'm like, sell and done because we need money. I have a, mm -hmm, our mm -hmm. daughter, we need How it. did you get the so video? So I got the video because he sent it to me. He sent it to me, being petty, because I Why called... Why did you send I called him that names. video to her? I called him She names. was talking, she was... She was saying a lot of bad stuff about me. She was yeah, calling was. me names. Yep. Saying that I wasn't well endowed. Like, talking about the size of my manhood. Yes, yes, and I so did. And so you sent that to make her feel bad, saying, well, if you don't like it, there's someone... If you don't, li if you don't like it, it's... Other women who yeah, does. I got you. Somebody else that likes me and cares about me. that was the... Response. Yeah. I'm with you. I'm with you. You say that he is destroying your self-esteem, and I want to oh, yeah. know what you mean oh, by yeah. that. Oh, yeah. The girls, like, that he has cheated on me with, they're, like, big or either thick. Do you cheat on her? No, I don't cheat on her. You've never cheated on her, not one time in eight years. I don't feel like I have. So I, what do you feel like? Feel like... Ms. Albino, you say that he is stripping away at your self-esteem. Why don't you tell me why you believe that? Okay, well, when he's joking around, he'll look at me when I don't, like... I, I don't really wear a lot of makeup, mm -hmm. and when he looks at me with my makeup, whatever, and we waking up in the morning, whatever, he jokes around, he's like, oh, you ugly. And he thinks it's, it's joking, but deep down inside, okay, yeah, I may laugh, but mm -hmm. it stays in my head. Right. And then the girls, like, that he has cheated on me with, they're, like, big or either thick. And me, I don't, I don't think, I mean, so then when I look at myself in the mirror, I'm very insecure, mm -hmm. extremely insecure. I'm like, I, I can't compete with that. Mm -hmm. So then I would start trying to work out, lose weight. And then when I lose weight, he's like, if you lose weight or you start going to the gym, I don't want to be with you. Because I don't, I don't want you. Like, How like, many girls he cheated on you with? Because you kind of just went through that like it wasn't a big deal. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, the one you saw him kissing, uh -huh. the, uh, and the one in the beginning, the one that said she was with him for two right. years. And so, some other girl from his job okay. that, that he was working at. Mm -hmm. And then God knows how many more. Mm -hmm. When she says she makes, that you make her feel like she's less than, do you think she's misinterpreting you? Or do you not understand where that's coming from? What do you have to say? Are I you mean, surprised to hear it? I'm, honestly, honestly, I'm shocked. Like, why would I be with her if I didn't like the way she looked? Because I help you financially? Okay. Well, you don't help me there. at all. I do, I do what I have okay. to do. Who was the primary breadwinner in this relationship? Me. Is that uh, true, Ms. Mr. I mean, me? Primary. Equal. Primary. Who brings home the most money? Who? Me? Why don't you? Who pays the rent? Who pays the bills? She does. Okay then. <laughs> Enough said. So that that makes her the primary. That makes her the primary, right? Yeah, I guess. Uh, you you yes. guess. I guess. You don't know. You can't count. I can count. <laughs> I, I mean, I cook. Oh, my God. You cook? Yes. I cook. She'll not a cook. Oh, yeah, he's a real good cook, but yeah. I would expect him to at least be a good cook if he can't do nothing else. Right, right. right. Let me ask you this, Ms. Mr. Ortiz. You're, you're very glib, moderately nice looking. <laughs> do you play games with women? Do you secure them and then use them? and keep your options open with other women? I don't believe I don't. I mean, I like women for... I don't believe I don't. <laughs> I am who I am. I'm asking you, are you those things I just spoke of? I don't believe I'm not. I believe I'm, I'm, more, I'm a sincere person. I'm a loyal person. Like, why would you get my name tatted if you feel like I'm with all these women? That's like, not the question. No. We're not talking to her now. We're not asking her why she does what she does. I'm asking you what you do. Do you cheat on her? No, I don't cheat on her. You've never cheated on her, not one time in eight years. I don't feel like I have. So what do you I, feel I don't like... feel like I have. What is that? What what is... I, feel like, I, feel like, I feel like if you was there sorry, for me, sorry, if you was I'm there sorry. for me, if you understood me, if you was more understanding to my feelings, you wouldn't have these mis misjudgments so or misleading. So whenever I ask you a question about your character or your actions, you point to her and, like, how could you or why would you? 
Yeah. I want you to talk about you, irrespective of her. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Do you think you take advantage of women? I feel like I, I feel like I don't take advantage of them. I feel like they like me for who I am. They see who I am and they want to do stuff for me. What kind of things do they do for you? I'm not saying take me out and pay for stuff. Cause like I do take women out. I feel like they care more about my feelings more than they, she does. Yeah. I told you not to talk about her, but it seems that you're incapable of doing that. So we were going to leave this alone. I want to move forward to see what the financial situation is. And you said at one point in time, I feel like you can't turn a hoe into a housewife. So I want to know what you meant by that. My kid comes home with, like, different toys and stuff like that from people that I don't even know. That's like, a lie. That's not a lie. Were you there? Do you have the evidence that that person gave her that candy? You said to my people, you feel like you couldn't, can't change a hoe into a housewife and you find it embarrassing to go out with her. Explain that to wow. me. It's real embarrassing because, like, Beatrice does not know how to say no to a person. Like, if there's somebody talking to a person, I mean, like, like for an example, if, you, if you're going somewhere, if you're on a train, why are you letting a man give my kid candy on the train if you don't even know a person? Why are you so easy to talk to a person that you don't even know? Like, mm -hmm. didn't your mother ever tell you don't talk to strangers? Why, why are you so gullible? Why, why, why is she so gullible? Does she do that a lot? Was does it a, she does it a lot. <laughs> like, my, my, my kid comes home with, like, different toys and stuff like that from people that I don't even know. That's like, a lie. That's not a lie. That's a lie. Can not be having candy? I don't even know. Okay, get... that's a lie, because were you there? Were you there? Do you have the evidence that that person gave her that candy? She were tells you're me. Assuming... My kid does not lie. No, you're assuming. Okay, hey, 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 hang on, hang on. Other than lie. that, other than that, you think she's too... I mean, that's not whole-like behavior. That's what being I'm too, too I am nice. nice. Is, is, I am nice. That's a difference. But you do talk too much. Yeah. Far, 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 yes, I do. Far. Yes, too much. I do. Rain that in. Oh, sorry. That's not whole-like behavior. That's gullible behavior. What? What? Why do you say she's an embarrassment? Because she's loud. She's obnoxious. She. I um, mean, she doesn't understand. Give like... me a story about her being loud and obnoxious. Like we could be out, we could be out, um, we could be out on a date. Why are you, why are you worried about a bill or like a, a, a credit card statement? If we out eating, like if we're eating, if we're eating, obviously we want to pay for something. So don't bring up a problem that that we're going through two months ago if we're actually spending money right now. And then you want to bring up a credit card bill. It was like, why, why are we out? Why are we eating Don't right talk now? to her. Tell me what you want to tell me about her being loud and obnoxious. I think bad timing, that, but I'm not hearing loud and obnoxious. She's just, she's like. I got you, you, I got as, you. As you, as you oh, can I, see, you can't even shut up sometimes. Well, I understand <laughs> that. I, I've already spoken to that issue. I asked you for loud and obnoxious to explain your, I feel like you can't turn a hoe into a housewife. Comment. That's what I'm asking for. Like she talks to too many people. Like, like if you say you're going somewhere, there's there's really no. She she did this. Her text messages, her call logs. Mm -hmm. It's really like if you say you're going to see your aunt, why I don't see your, the calls with your aunt? Why is everything gone and deleted? Okay. Did he crawl into your house one day and destroy stuff? Oh yeah, he did. Explain that to me. Yeah, he did. Um, for my graduation, like my our graduation was coming up, and this man, I feel like he's jealous of me. I feel like he hates on me, and he hates the fact, like the fact that I'm a strong woman that I, I, I don't, I don't break. I may break, but I get back up and I do what I got to do. So you know, he called because I didn't want to let him in because he pissed me off, because he, like I said, he wants things mm -hmm. his way, and he doesn't want to understand where I'm coming from. Mm -hmm. So I was like, you're not coming to my house. He was just, we were chilling with my best friend, mm -hmm. and he decided to want to be too close to her. So I was like, what do you do? Like, you're out with me. You, why are you going out mm -hmm. with right. her? Like, why are you so next to her? So mm -hmm. then when we were going back home, I told him, take your stuff, go to your family's house, because I do not want you in the house. So then he, he didn't want to take no for an answer. So he crawled it. I was r circling the block because I did not want to. Because I know that if I would have come, he was gonna come. Get to the crawling. Get to the crawling. So he crawls into the apartment because I did not. He crawls into the vent and he burns my cap and gown, and breaks my TV. Did you do that? Yeah, I did. I did. Okay, I got gotcha. you. I know what I want to say. Divorce court will be right back. Let me tell you what happened to you. You got baited, trapped, 
and now he's trying to destabilize you. He love bombed you in the beginning. Oh, you're wonderful, you're this, you're that. He does that with all women because that's his MO, that's how he does. And then once he gets a woman ensnared and thinking that, wow, this is who he is and this is how he can be, then he kind of chips away at who you are so you kind of feel destabilized. You're always trying to please him because he tells you you're not quite good enough and you see him with other women and he shows you that he can be with other women to make you feel like you're not stable and you're not safe and you're insecure, but you're still waiting to get back to that time when he loved you that much. And every once in a while, he may dangle a little bit of that love out in front of you. But his job is, other than that, to keep you under his thumb so he can behave as he wants to behave. And that's why he's all weird about all of that. You talking to other men, you talking to your man. He wants you isolated and alone. He doesn't want you to believe that you can be, do, or anything else. He didn't burn your clothes. He burned your cap and gown. He doesn't want you to be your own woman standing on your own. Because if you, if, if you get educated, if you get strong, if you get right, you will get rid of him. And he knows that. So that's not what he wants. I want to show you something. But something, somebody said, we gave you a compatibility test. And this cat writes down, what do I want from my woman? Not love, honor, respect, none of that. He says, this is what I want. I want her to stop being crazy, to relax, to learn not to be pretty. Isolation, keeping you from other men. Do not to just hang up the phone when you don't let me get my thoughts fully across and to control your temper. He said, he didn't say what he wanted from you. He said everything that's wrong with you. He said you weren't good enough. He couldn't even answer the question. He was so busy telling you that you ain't nothing. Yeah. He's the first guy That's that crazy. you got. It gets better from here if you have enough sense to get up and go. Yeah. And when he comes home, he's going to be all loving and nice for a hot minute, and you're going to think that he's going to turn back into that guy that he was. But the guy that he was was always hoodwinking you. He was lying to you. He was baiting you. And now he's keeping you, and he's trying to make you small. Don't let him do it. I would speak to him. Thank you. But I don't like to waste my time. <laughs> this matter is adjourned. What's your response to, to how things went down today? Now that I know exactly how he feels about me, like I'm a hoe and all these things, and it hurts, but now that I know that, it's my time to move on and do better for myself and accept that I deserve better. Why would he say that? I don't know. It, it hurts because it's like, this is the, my first love. This is the guy I, you know, I, the first man I ever touched. Yeah. Do you feel st strong enough? Do you feel like you can move on? Yeah, I know I can. <laughs>